Hi, this is Paul from globaltradingsoftware.com. I want to go through the brand new Trade Station Auto Harmonic Pattern uh, software. Um, another version of it now, we've got it for lots of other platforms, but tr uh, Trade Station uh, is the next one to list. So, uh, talk through basically how we use it. So, it's automatic. The software identifies and labels. Uh, the harmonic pattern. So in this case, in top left there, you can see it's got. It says it's a Gartley. Um, it colours it in red because the resulting trade is bearish. It also works out a high probability completion zone. This is zone here where my cursor is. If that harmonic pattern, the D pivot, completes in that automatic um, PCZ, we call it pattern completion zone. There's a high probability that the resulting bearish trade will happen. Uh, and then we put on some FIB levels for um, target. You can hide those if you want. Um, you can go into studies, edit studies, and uh, with the harmonic pattern here, you can customize a lot of things in here. Uh, so we, we, you know, we can... Um, we can take out all of those uh, labels and things like that. We can change colors. We can put alerts on there, that sort of thing. Uh, lots of information there. We can also change that. So uh, if we don't want the 386 and we want a 2.618, for example, we can go here on that fib, change it, close, and you'll see there. The zoom. So if I zoom out here, You'll see eventually that did go down and hit the 2618 on that short from the Gartley pattern there. So, you know, there's, there's quite a lot of um, inputs and labels you can change. Uh, but the main thing is it's totally automatic and it identifies the harmonic pattern, labels it, colors it to give you the, um, you know, the option to say, right, I'm looking for a bearish trade if that completes in the pattern completion zone. The pattern completion zone is uh, a multitude of uh, fib retracements, extensions, and those overlaps to give you a really sort of sweet spot where that D pivot should finish. If it does finish, if it doesn't finish in there, for example, you don't take the trade. But if it does finish in there, high probability move, and we've got other indicators to help you with that uh, entry point here. But I just wanted to go through this um, auto harmonic pattern. So that's short. So let's have a look at a long example. Okay, so a typical um, bullish uh, signal here. So again, the harmonic pattern is colored in green, giving you a hint that we should be looking for a long trade. Uh, it's labeled the bat pattern down here. Remember that that short one was a different type of pattern. I think it was a Gartley. Uh, and then uh, this is a bat pattern. So it's identified that the, com the completion of that bat pattern has completed in this completion zone. And then it's gone through these target levels all the way to 618 and, and uh, above. You see how some of these fib levels are really important when they pull back and hold there as well. So again, very simple. Identifies the harmonic pattern automatically. It colors it in green. Obviously, once we start to get to the C wave, that's when it starts to lay, put that in and label. Um, we come down. The D pivot completes in our automated pattern completion zone, PCZ and then we uh, get the resulting trade entries again we usually use the EMA cloud which is um, on globaltradingsoftware.com to help us with uh, both entry and trade management for that it's not part of the indicator suite there's just different ways to to use for entries for these uh, but in reality the main thing with this software is to identify those harmonic patterns to get that pattern completed in that automated completion zone and then the resulting trade because it's colored in green in this case is bullish is high probability so we've gone through um, a bearish example and now a uh, bullish example all um, really just showing you how really great this harmonic pattern indication tool is it's automatic and you know one of the best things for this is you know it works on futures forex crypto it works on stocks and uh, just got to find the groove you can, again there's lots of information here where you can set alerts uh, you can change those target zones if you want to be a little bit more conservative um, you know or more more aggressive um, you cannot change the PCZ because they that's an extremely complex calculation and if it does complete in there 
um, you know, there's a good probability that that resulting trade is going to be good. So one last thing I'm going to do is look for a, uh, an example where the pattern doesn't complete in the completion zone. Okay, so this is Apple on the weekly time frame, and again, a lot of people get confused when they're using harmonics in that that butterfly pattern that's formed here in red, so you're looking for a bearish move, uh, is in fact uh, within the parameters to call it a butterfly pattern. But in reality, it didn't. It completed way above our pattern completion zone. If you look here, our pattern completion zone is where my cursor is now. It completed way above. It pulled back to there, and then longer term, this is what happened to Apple. So again, this is the weekly time frame. But you know, when you're looking on other time frames, even the three minute for day trading, those patterns that complete outside that PCZ are lower probability. And when you're looking at Apple longer term on the weekly, you're looking for really great trades. And obviously, in this case, the short on this uh, thing was not a good trade, even though. Um, Factually, uh, technically, it was a butterfly pattern. It completed way out the completion zone there. So the resulting bearish trade wasn't a great trade. Yes, intraday, it would have been uh, reasonably good. Uh, but in reality, longer term, when you're looking for investments, you're not going to be uh, looking for the shorts there. Um, and in reality, it comes back down. This is really, you know, comes. it's a, it's a normal pullback. And when you're looking at Elliott Waves, that's probably a wave four, and then it goes on, uh, or even a wave two. So it just gives you that ability to um, walk away from those short trades or those long trades when it doesn't complete in the pattern completion zone. Hopefully that helps. So it's, uh, these indicators are there to get you into high probability trades, but they're also there to stop you getting into trades. Without this, but before, when people were manually drawing harmonic patterns, they would have seen a short trade there and have continued to go short. Uh, for me, that would have really told me to, hey, hang on, wait, um, th there's no short trade here longer term for Apple. I'll wait for it to pull back and then look for an entry to go long, use the X-Brad Algo or the Elliott Wave or something like that. Uh, that just in this situation tells me not to go short. Hopefully that helps. Speak to you all soon.